top shit to you guys. It's that guy from... Fuck, I can't speak English. It's Joe here from Gogan Gaming, and today I am playing some BTD5, and I'm starting... No, not BTD5, BTDB Battles. And today I'm starting at TD Tuesday. Which is going to be Tower Defense Tuesday, where I'm just going to upload a different Tower Defense game every Tuesday. So I'm going to alternate between this, Tower Defense... Uh, uh, TD5, um... Maybe a Monkey City if I can figure that out, like figure out how to record it, and then also um, uh, Sanctum, and then maybe the Fence Grid once in a while because I like that and it's just fun. So uh, if you read the title, I absolutely hate this first match. I did so terrible because hey, I decided to try and go for um, Ninja Cannon, and then I throw in the sub because I like the sub on this map and. I get the ninja and I get the boomerang as my fourth tower. Well, guess what? The one thing I can't pop is with these four towers, unless I get flashbang, which I don't re realize until it's too late. I don't have any freaking camel leg popping power. Yay! Uh, so basically, I'm basically just screwed for the whole thing. I get my airburst darts up, I start spamming, I'm going blue Nico. He gets up a litning wizard. There you go. Gets up the lightning. He's also he's got the two one I think unless he gets up a two two at some point. But so I'm just spamming. I get the airbrush darts. I accidentally get the barbed darts. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, so I just get that up. I think I'm going for the glue gunner, but then I switch back to getting a ninja. And uh, yeah, basically this whole thing just goes to shit because. Yeah, he's sending up lanes. I can counter these pinks. I don't know why he's sending space pinks, spending a lot of money without any reward, really. <sighs> yeah, so I defend all his rushes. Like, I hold everything back. And then I realize I don't have any camel lead popping power, and that happens, but that's not until round... Like, he doesn't even real. He doesn't even realize that until, like, round 16. 15? 14. 14. Not 16. 14. I don't remember. We'll see. We shall see. I don't remember a lot of things very well. I mean, it may have just happened, like, six seconds ago, but I mean, eh, who cares. <sighs> yeah, so he sends out some yellows. Yeah. So, how is your guy's day going? Good? That's great. Oh, God. So I finally got to, got around to ripping my one album that I got for Christmas onto my computer's hard drive. I finally got around to that. It's uh, the very best of ELO. And it's got a couple of different songs on it. It's got a, uh, it's got all the best ones actually. It, like there isn't a bad song on here. I don't know that actually. I don't know one, two, th I don't know like, three of the songs on here. And then one of them isn't technically uh, ELO. It's a uh, cover that ELO did of "Roll Over Beethoven," which I don't even. Hold on. Let me just pull up a Google really quick while. Uh, oh. Hey, is it still going? Oh wow, I didn't know that it still does that. Cool. Cool beans. Well, uh... Roll over... Oh shit, I can spell more over. Roll over Beethoven. It was originally done by Chuck Berry. And then the Beatles did a cover of that too. I know my music. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, but uh... Yeah, I like Yellow. It's one of my favorite bands. So yeah, they're... Alas, poor Gogan, where I die to camo leads. Tried to get uh, another... Tried, I got the flashbang up in time, but it didn't get enough camo popping power for the rest of it in time. So I do that, and then I say, you know what, I'm gonna go for the random trio instead this time. And then this guy and I, we're, we're perfect for each other. We just go right... We just instantly do the exact same thing. We, we see this loadout, and we're like, oh, it is on. So... Oh boy, it is quite the loadout. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really? Yeah, I don't know why my pig is so bad at my mom's house. I don't know. It just makes no sense at all. Okay, so. Three, two, one. Bam. Okay, never mind. I thought I could predict the future. Apparently not. That is a mistake. 
is your guys' favorite band slash music slash whatever? I mean, just go ahead and say, say in the comments down below. Okay, so now it's up for the, uh, against the second account. I actually don't know who this guy is. I don't know. So we both do the finger point thing at the same time, so that was pretty good, but yeah. So I actually go for a mortar start on this one. So I was going to pop a cobra down, but then I go for the mortar start, and he goes for a cannon start. Now yeah, figuring out the hotkeys, how tab is set target, which works really well with the mortar, because you just select the mortar and you can just press tab and just keep moving over the all over the screen. So I send out some balloons just to get my eco up a little bit, but then I say, you know what, he's not going for a uh, cobra eco, so I said, you know what, I have the tower, I might as well use it. So I just get my eco up to 300 to make it easier to buy more upgrades for the cobra. And uh, yeah, it goes pretty well. Because uh, the one thing that this loadout is weak against is camel balloons, because the only camel popping power you have is a 03 mortar. Well, is a third tier on the right side for the mortar. That's the only camel popping power you have. So you either have to be constantly microwing the third tier mortar, or just praying that the other guy doesn't send any camo out against you. <laughs> Which is what happens. I just see, oh, he doesn't have a mortar up, so I just spam him with camos and he surrenders. So I lost the first game, my opponent surrendered the second game, I end up winning the third game. I don't know how. It, it was weird, but I end up winning the third game somehow. Yeah, so I'm I'm using I, I like the I like going I like with the, I like the cobra. Like if I save up, like if I get the fi if I get the five thousand medallions, th that's gonna be the first thing I buy is the cobra. Like it's not a good power per se, but it's really it's a really good strategy, like to get eco, and then it also is pretty good popping power for uh, for um like pinks for like greens and yellows if there are greens and yellows. So he doesn't rush me with camos. He rushes me with just regular region yellows. And he surrenders, and I get an achievement, which was Jack of All Towers, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. So there's that game, and then there was the first game where I lost to Camel Leads, and I got so angry. So he left after that game. And then I go back to the original one, and uh, yeah, it's quite fun. So I don't only listen to ELO, like I listen to a lot of bands, like I listen to, uh, what's some other bands I listen to? I listen to The Beatles, which is why I knew that Rollo Beethoven was covered by The Beatles, but it was originally Chuck Berry. Um, so there was Beatles, I also listen to a lot of modern, well not a lot, like certain modern stuff I listen to, it, it really just depends on who the artist is. Or, you know, well it doesn't depend on the artist, it depends on how the music sounds. Like, I'm one of those guys that, it's, it's the type of music, not the music itself, not the song or the artist itself. It's the type of music. Well, it's the, it's how the song is structured is what matters to me. So I, so I pick the, uh, thank you for the finger. <sighs> he points at me much later. So I end up going for the wizard because to me that's the easiest way to get camo popping power. And then I pair up with the mortar and the ninja. Now this is probably one of my favorite loadouts. Probably is the, and then I just get the uh, freaking boomerang as my third tower, and I'm like, oh god, yes, that is beautiful. So I end up just going for a uh, one zero, so that I can just get my spam on. And he does an engineer start, which you don't see a lot. Like, this, like you just don't see it a lot. Like that's just really rare to see in. Uh, like just in general, so I end up getting the sharp shots, the sharp, the sharp shaking, the sharp shaking shuriken, and I put up my dart, I put up my uh, tax, but uh, apparently the seeking shurikens is overpowered, so he starts rushing me with that. So I end up getting mortar up to a zero two, and then, well, yeah. So he's just constantly rushing me. I lose a few spikes. But, um, so I get the Bernie stuff, 
And then I'm going to put a boomerang up. Actually, I think I do. I do put the boomerang up, but then for some reason the boomerang is in place because I didn't place him in the right place. And I was like, oh my god, no. So I actually almost lost because of that. So then I get him up to a 1-0. Uh, a 3-0. I'm going to have to sell the mortar, though, to buy it, is what happens, I think. Because the mortar's not really doing that much help at this exact moment. So I sell the mortar, get the 3-0, because I'm going to start losing lives, because my attacks are getting thin. So I put that to rest. I place my wizard down, and I get him up to a 2-1 or a 2-2. Two, 2-1, two. Two, was that it? Oh, just a 2, I think. <sighs> so I send some regen yellows, trying to force his hand. Did I send out the regen yellows, or were those the spawn-in regen yellows? I don't remember. But I tried, oh no, I was just in, eh, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't want to go back, because that caused all sorts of problems. Because, oh boy. Problems are just problematic, aren't they? So, the only camo popping power is his double shot ninja in the back. He doesn't have blue jitsu, is what I'm led to believe. And he only has uh, the third tier upgrade for that. So, I sent out two camo leads, but two camo, le two camo region leads, but it just gets nope, nope by the uh, cleansing foam. I was hoping that I could just squeeze it by the cleansing foam, but it, it doesn't work. So basically at this point I'm like, oh, okay, this is going to go pretty late game. This is going to go pretty late. not so late, but... So I get my, uh... Fire Mage up, I can think. And I get my ninja up to a 3-2. And... I don't end up buying a mortar, I just use him in the early game, but then I sold him instantly for the 3-1. Uh, so I start saving up for a BFB against him. So I save up, send out the BFB, and he ends up defending it, and then doesn't defend... No. Yeah, he defends this one miraculously because of, uh, what's it called, um, distraction. Distraction ends up saving him, and it's also double shot, so that saves him too. But then I start saving, so I get blue jitsu, so I just have the, the, five, the five shot. And then I start saving up for a uh, Moab rush. And I just wait for round 22, where I can just send out a Moab instantly. Now I know that the, uh, what's it called? The, um... The Balloon Jitsu paired with the Fire Mage is a really good combination for taking out single Moab rushes. Now if you were to send out like two Moabs, that'd be really difficult. I'd need to sell the Boomerang and get another... Another, uh, I can speak English. <sighs> get another Wizard, and then I'd have to sell the Boomerang and get another Wizard or another Balloon Jitsu up. Or just another one up, so then I'd just wait got enough money to buy one as soon as round 22 starts. So I was thinking of blue energy, but that I was just like, man, just send it. Just get just get it going. So he battle energy is pretty much off the bat. And he takes down the Moab layer. The BFB layer, my bad. I just send some pigs out just in case he does miraculously end up defending it. But he doesn't. He takes down only one of the Moabs. The other three sneak through, just blatantly. So uh, that's all I got for this video. I end up plus five medallions at the end of the day. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, uh, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time on TD Tuesday. And don't forget to go again.